health tonight, there are a number of reasons for blurred vision. But few people have heard of retinal detachment, even though it's an eye disorder that causes blurred and veiled vision in about one in a hundred people. As CBS 4's Cynthia Demos explains, if this disorder goes untreated, patients can completely lose their eyesight. I knew something was askew, had no idea what it was. Joy Satterley of Hollywood began to notice a change in her vision while on a cruise out of the country. I thought I was tired, but, and after a long flight, thought it was the medication. Um, I had cat cataract surgery in that eye uh, six months before. Turns out she suffered a retinal detachment. A retinal detachment is when the thin layer of tissue that lines the interior of the eye called the retina falls out of position. Retinal surgeon Dr. W. Scott Thompson says while it's tough to pinpoint a cause, detachments typically occur in patients who are extremely nearsighted or have had cataract surgery or an eye injury. There are a number of symptoms. The most important symptom that we look for is sudden new floaters. Floaters can take the form of little black dots, webs. We all have those from time to time. They can be accompanied by flashes of light, blurring of vision, a feeling like someone's trying to draw a curtain over your eye. Simple tears can be repaired with a laser. More serious detachments require surgery. The severity depends on how quickly a patient receives treatment. Unfortunately, if the retina detaches, the cells of the retina, which are nerve tissue, begin to deteriorate and they can be repaired to a degree, but once a detachment has occurred, uh, it, the eye is never quite the same again. If left untreated, patients can go blind. If truly neglected, the retina stays detached, it will eventually die, which would basically be like a camera with no film in it. Now, if you wake up one morning and your vision looks like this, a little out of focus or out of whack at all, you should go see your eye doctor immediately. Now, Joy did suffer some vision loss, but after surgery, she's doing better and her condition should improve. For your health, Cynthia Demas, CBS 4 News.